Rejoice in the Lord always. Pray without ceasing and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us all witness and enjoy the experience of being blessed in order for us to become blessings as well. Only here on Macau, Macau Adventist, Adventist Today. today. Hey Rhea, it's nice to see you once again. Likewise, Matthew. Glad that we are back here in our program and this time, our show has a new name because here, we won't only give our brothers and sisters a good news, but we will also provide different helpful informations, sharing inspiring stories and offering a prayer of request and gratitude. So, if you have any prayer requests or prayer of thanks that you would like to be included in our Let's Pray Macau segment, you may send your prayers through private messages in our official Facebook page displayed on your screens. Let's Pray Macau is one of the segments that we will all look forward to. But what else will we witness today? We will be having two special guests today. One will offer heavenly music, and she is no other than our cute Johanna Mae Rikumano. The college instructor in one of the universities in the Philippines will share us one of the highlights events in his life in Living Testimonies. Let us look back on the week with Pastor Nemanja on Church Bulletin and let us listen to another music that might not sound familiar to all of us but bears the message of hope on Adventist original music. Are we ready to learn more information from the Bible? If yes, then Bible trivia will fill your thirst. What about tips to preserve our health? Then you should prepare to take down notes for Healthy You will reveal them to you. Without further ado, we will start with a reflection for today. Let me read a quote from Stephanie Spinett Henry. Life is tough, my darling, but so are you. What can you say about that, Rhea? Indeed, Matthew. But along our journey, we have a God who is bigger than our biggest problems. So we shall not worry at all. Indeed. Life is tough, but today, just sit back and relax because we have lots of surprises for you here on Macau Adventist Today.
Kidneys, how important are they to our body and how can we keep them in good shape? Let's find out on Healthy You. Hello to all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to another episode of Healthy You. The kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped organs located just above the waist. Each kidney is only about the size of a fist, yet the kidney carries out a very critical function. As part of the urinary system, they are responsible for filtering the blood and removing excess fluids for elimination in urine. Other kidney functions include the production of enzymes and hormones that regulate blood pressure, stimulates red blood cells production, and activates vitamin D. If the kidney fails to function, toxic compounds build up in the blood, causing a wide range of symptoms and life-threatening complications. To keep your kidneys healthy, dare to follow this practical advice. 
Number one, empty your bladder. Number two, cut back on salt. Number three, increase your water intake. Number four, cut back on caffeine and alcoholic beverages. Number five, stop smoking. Number six, cut down on animal protein. Number seven, never take any pain relievers without the doctor's permission. Number eight, never ignore common infections. Number nine, keep your blood pressure normal. Number 10, control your blood sugar and cholesterol. Number 11, maintain an ideal body weight and body mass index. Number 12, choose foods that are healthy like fruits, vegetables, nuts, liquor, and grapes. This is Golden Domingo reminding you to gain health and vitality. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 says, Remember, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Have you ever had one moment in your life in which you thought it would be the end of your life already? Well, our guest had this kind of experience and he will share to us God's goodness for protecting and extending his life, making him a living testimony. We are used to watching movies about someone being kidnapped or hostage by some people who have unreasonable reasons, such as Liam Neeson's Taken and Ransom star by Mel Gibson. Yes, these are just movies with fabricated stories, but these movies are inspired by real life stories. What would you feel if you fell into this unlucky circumstance? Let us hear the story of a person who was once abducted in the past, how he survived from his struggles, and how he experienced God's intervention amidst the circumstance. Let us listen to Chris Neil Anthony Gofan as he shares his story in The Living Testament. Good Welcome day. to our living testimony for Macau Athlete Business Network. Thank you so much for giving us time so that you could also mm. share your um, experience. Now I want to um, go straight to our questions. Where did this incident happen? I know, this kidnapping incident. Um, it happened many years ago. Uh, it happened near the university where I finished my undergrad. Mm -hmm. That was uh, one Sabbath afternoon, uh, evening, mm -hmm. um, around 7 p.m. We were heading back home. When, from the church? Yes, from the church. Mm -hmm. After this church service, we go straight to our houses. Mm -hmm. But uh, suddenly, I, I, I car stopped right in front of us. and. Uh, what, what kind of car? What kind of car? Um, a brown car, mm -hmm. a brown color brown car with... Uh, uh, I, 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 I can barely forget. Oh, okay, okay, okay it's okay. <laughs> uh, so, that time, I know there are also some incidents that happen in some universities, but were you carefree that time that such incident would also happen to you? Uh, yeah, because uh, we believers, we are so... Uh, uh, like, we, we do believe that... Uh, the Lord's presence will always be in our midst, everywhere we go, and there is safety when He is there. So, so. can you relay the story, there is that car already, yes. and then can you relay to us the story, what happened afterwards? Um, we were um, abducted by um, five men, around five men, okay, five and men. we were brought... Um, you were forcedly, yes. of course, you were forcedly yes. dragged yes. into the car, inside the car. Yes, they were dragged inside the car and uh, we were blindfolded. Uh -huh. And uh, So inside the car, when you were dragged inside the car, what was inside your mind? Um, I, this is real. <laughs> so like it's, it's like oh it's like in the movies. Yes. So is, so is this happening to me? Were you just like dreaming uh, yes. or like you're wishing that 
I hope this is just only a dream. Yes, yes. Okay. So after that, while you were with the kidnappers, that time, uh, where were you brought after that? We were brought uh, somewhere from, far from the university. Um, uh, of, of course, you don't know because yeah, yeah. we were blindfolded. blindfolded. But it's in the is it in the, do you think it's in the cities or in the mountains, urban areas? In the mountains. Okay. In the mountains. In the mountains, mm. really. So after that, so after riding on that car, you were still blindfolded. Were you still blindfolded when you walked towards the mountains? Yes. Wow. And then, okay, what were you feeling while, of course, I know, how, for how long were you there? With the five kidnappers? days. Five days. Five so days you have five and days nights. and four nights. four nights. Five days and four nights. What were you thinking at that time? Did you happen like also to blame God? Why did it happen to you? <coughs> After all, like, for example, like you were thinking, oh, I already serve, I serve a lot. God, why did this happen to me? all people why me why us uh, the, the first that came into our minds where we were uh, kidnapped uh, we we uh, okay by the way it, uh, yeah by the, by the way Ron I, I forgot to I forgot to tell our um, mm. viewers that you were with with my church mate. okay with your church so you the two of you mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and then yes please continue so, uh, what was on our maturity at that time when we were abducted was uh, uh, we thought of it as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, we considered it as a ministry and an unlikely minis uh, really? unlikely calling. Uh -huh. so, so did you happen to like to to blame God? Uh, there so was like 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 that time you were abducted and then ding, yes. this is ministry or <laughs> that time were you still like. God, why did this happen mm. to us? Person? There was there was a time when uh, my faith was measured, mm -hmm. when um, when the Lord is him silent, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we we thought it was the the last day of our lives. Whoa! Oh, um, I, I thought it it was going to be my last day when I was uh, so dragged was outside. So what was like? What I know, I know, because we are Christians, we mm -hmm. pray. So, yes. And usually we pray more yes. in times of trouble. So what were your prayers that time? Um, I said, Lord, um, if, if there's anything I can do for you uh, during this time, then uh, let me do this for okay. once, that I may serve you until my last breath. So how, how did you serve God during those moments? There was a, uh, th there were many opportunities where when we uh, we were able to share Such um, as? The, the 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 words from the Lord because um, we brought with us the Bible the lesson mm -hmm. so we when we had the opportunity to open and read the Bible uh -huh. uh, they were so curious that they will ask uh, who is this who is that who is oh, that on really? the picture wow. Uh, then we are going to explain to them, wow, this is our God, this is Jesus, this mm -hmm. is... So they were also interested in learning what's inside the Bible. Yes, because they were so curious about um, our religion, because mm -hmm. they were asking, what, uh, what, what, what's your denomination and what, what are your beliefs? Oh, we do have a lot of common. That's so strange, right? Yes. Like, like some kidnappers, like when you watch in movies, mm. you don't have don't like... talk with the... Yes, but um, those you have those communication and at that time you use also that time instead of like trembling for what yes. is happening yes. you just share what's yes. in the bible and then yes. you share about god yes. so like do you feel like you feel already comfortable at that time when you share mm, a little bit because uh, we can sense the the, the the god's calling god's leading and uh, the, the purpose of uh, bring us there bring us into the situation mm -hmm. Okay, can I ask about the food that you eat or were you able to drink also clean water, cl mm. proper food? About, were you able to, or do you also have time to take a bath or how about your, your clothes? Can you relate to us what happened? Um, uh, even in that situation, we really can see the God's providence. So uh, every day they were able to provide us our needs. Uh -huh. they, they brought us uh, biscuits, even um, for the first time, ate uh, 
coffee uh, leaves from the coffee tree. Really? Yes. Le leaves of the. Um, how did they do it? How how did they cook it? They simply uh, mix it with the boiling water and, and add then, some spices. <laughs> really? And then you you will eat those yes. coffee leaves. Yes. This first time, right? Mm. And actually, it it taught us or it teaches us also that. We, we can survive in forest yes. when you eat this coffee and leaves. other edible plants <laughs> so so like like while walking if you can see like oh this is, ed uh, this is good edible. for food really <laughs> but like... we have not tried them all <laughs> oh i see how about like instant food also sometimes yes they serve yes you yes, instant yes. Food. how about like taking a bath no no we're not able to take a bath for no change straight, clothes uh, yes no change clothes is it isn't it cold there in the mountains yes but uh the lord uh provided us uh provided us um shelter and uh, some extra clothing i heard shelters yes because i guess you were transferring can you tell us tell, can you tell our viewers can you share to our mm. viewers you were transferring from uh from one um one house to another house. Uh -huh. uh, Can you still remember like how many houses did you visit? No, no. So we we, we around like, we, approximately like uh, for five, five days, days and four nights approximately. Pro approximately eight to ten houses. Eight to ten uh, houses. Mm. <laughs> so you transferred and you kept yes. on walking. Yes. In different houses. Mm. There was one time uh, that was Monday evening where we 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 walked straight from uh, 5 p.m. to 12 midnight and uh, because they, they they were so frightened because during that time uh, the, the military uh, started their operation Already they were start, to rescue starting you. yes looking for us so to cut short the story how were you saved um, I don't know what what happened but uh, during the last day uh, we were separated uh, my my churchmate was intentionally the, the first uh, my first mate was supposed to be released and I was supposed to be left in the mountains mm -hmm. yes and uh, one kidnapper uh, brought me somewhere <laughs> really? and I knelt down and prayed oh Lord um, because if, you, if, you were you were thinking already that uh, uh, yes. you will be I will be staying there for another another month or another week. <laughs> or it would be the end of your life. Yes. Oh. But good thing that. Good thing. Um, I, I, the the, the kidnapper said that. Um, okay, you are not ready for release, so come with me. Mm -hmm. We will uh, bring you to the place where you will be. Uh, uh, you will be. Uh, what they call this? Sent home. Already. Sent home or yes. Okay. With the media. So I know that is a traumatic experience mm. for you. How did you recover from those trauma? Um, it is simply by um, by praying and by sharing our experiences to our brothers and sisters. So instead of making it, it as like a trembling experience, you make it as an inspiration yes, rather. Yes. Yes. This is uh, yes. This is to uh, so. <laughs> cover up what it. lesson can we get from that experience that we can also share to our brothers and sisters in Christ? Mm -hmm. um, when God seems silent, when God seems to contradict Himself, when God does not seem to be understood by most of us, we we will still live by faith, even when all is not well. And Amen. it will turn out to become a blessing, not just to us, but to the people around us. Amen for that, Ron. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I Thank know you. it's hard to look back on those traumatic experiences mm. that you had. But thank you so much for sharing your story such that we also can, can get lesson and we can also be inspired that we know that God is always there for yes. us no matter what. Thank you Amen. so much. Welcome.
Blackness covers like king Endless curtain Even just a streak of light is out of sight Nothing so familiar But darkness To see the sun one day seems hopeless And when he heard the people say Jesus Christ of Nazareth is on his way. He said, Jesus. Can't let this pass away It's the faith that worked inside of me Once blind, but now I see Selfishness was not in his intentions No tricks, no questions Not a bargain for a crown Unhesitant is to the without pretensions Not trying to impress, not wanting to be great The moment he threw his cloak away He gave up all to Jesus, the one who likes his way Samyuk Middle School's Gospel Week was a success with Pastor Nemanja as the main speaker. Let's take a peek on that week on Church Bulletin with Angel Limas. Yes, Rhea, December 5 to 9, 2016 is one special week for Macau Samyuk Middle School. It is the school's Winter Gospel Week. With the theme Living a Greater Life, 
the students and teachers from the primary, Chinese, and English secondary sections were all blessed with the messages given by God's messenger all the way from the Philippines, Pastor Dan Namanya. Pastor Dan is Nigerian by race, but graduated AB Theology in Mountain View College and currently taking up his graduate studies in Adventist International Institute of Advanced Studies in the Philippines. Every day before the sermon starts, students are asked questions orally about the previous topics and there was no single question that the students were not able to answer. At the end of the week, a number of students decided to commit their lives to Christ. Others asked for prayers and would like to be visited at their homes. Some were interested to join Bible study, and over eight students looked forward to be baptized and accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. On the Sabbath day, the three Seventh-day Adventist churches held a combined worship to listen more of God's messages brought by Pastor Dan and witnessed the simple yet meaningful Christmas songs of praises offered to God by some of the members of Macau and Taipa SDA churches. We thank God for sending us His messengers equipped with the heart of spreading the good news and make it more welcoming not only to the people's ears but with the work of the Holy Spirit to all our hearts and minds. This is Angel Lumas, always bringing good news of hope. Back to you, Rhea and Matthew. Thanks, Angel. Indeed, so many of us were blessed on the last Gospel Week of MSY. On the other hand, we celebrate birthdays because we celebrate the beginning of our existence as soon as we are born from our mother's womb. But there are people in the past who died without being born. That will be our Bible trivia for today. Nathan, how is it possible? Hey there, welcome to Bible Trivia. Do you know the only human beings who had not been conceived but had experienced death? Yes, they are Adam and Eve, the very first parents of the human race. On the sixth day, out of the dust of the ground, the Lord formed man and breathed on his nostrils the breath of life, and Adam became a living soul. God placed Adam in the garden of east of Eden where God made every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food growth. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. While Adam named all the cattle and all the animals, he felt sad for there was not found a help to meet for him. So God caused a deep sleep to fall upon and he slept. And the very first ever surgery happened that day. God took one of Adam's rib and closed up his flesh. This rib which God had taken out from man was made into a woman. And God brought her into Adam and Adam called her Eve. The pair was instructed to eat all the fruits they can get from all the tree except from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when they eat of it, they will surely die. Though not instant death, but they will die eventually. However, the serpent was so cunning. He successfully tempted Adam and Eve to eat the fruit. Consequently, their eternal life they would have had enjoyed was taken from them. Because of this, sin entered the world. Along with sin, death came. It came to all creation, but most certainly death came to Adam and Eve. Thus, Adam lived for 930 years old. Though it was not recorded the age of Eve's death, but we do know that Eve died at a good ripe age. Remember, don't just like the word, 
don't just read the word, make sure to share it. This is Nathan Libiternas for Bible Trivia. family, your friends, or your friend's family may not be feeling well today. Let us cast our supplications to our God with Pastor Adele Gottas on Let's Pray Macau. Good morning everyone. Happy Sabbath. Wherever you are, Welcome to Let's Pray Macau, another segment. And today we're going to talk about physical ailments and spiritual healing. I'd like to turn the Bible. If you have your Bibles with you, turn with me to the Gospel of Mark chapter 2. And here's the story about a man who has been healed not only physical, but spiritual healing. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door. The house was full of people. Some men came bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus, because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof about Jesus by digging through it 
and then lowered the men. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed men, Son, your sins are forgiven. Here is a story of a man who wanted to be healed. He went to others, but even the Pharisees pronounced him incurable. So he, he, he has that hope because he heard about Jesus, about his works, his miracles he was performing. Just like the leper he just healed, and now this man, this paralytic man, heard that Jesus was healing, performing miracles of healing. And because of that belief, he too had the hope that he might be cured if it, if it could be carried uh, to the Savior. But of hope, as he remembered, the cause of his malady, yet he, uh, he could not cast away the possibility of healing. Sometimes we bring uh, ailments because of our lifestyle and perhaps this man because of his way of living he had the ailments and he could not walk he was a paralyzed man his great desire was relieved from the burden of sin that was his great desire not only physical healing but that desire to be forgiven from his past sin and then he would be content to live on to die according to God's will there was no time to lose already his wasted flesh bore signs of death the spirit of prophecy tells us that that's the situation of this paralytic man and he called for his friends so that they, they would carry him to the, where Jesus was preaching in the house of Peter. But the house was full of people, crowded. They cannot get into the door. And so these four men decided to go up and into the rooftop, uh, dig a hole so that they can lower the mat where the man was lying and in just in front of Jesus, that man was lowered. And when Jesus saw their faith, you know, that faith, those uh, friends of his, of this paralytic man, they had that great faith as well. And they carried him in order to see Jesus and be healed. That was an amazing, because right in front of Jesus, that man was lowered. And according to their custom, his disciples sat close about him. And there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by who were come out and ever out of every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. Many of these uh, have come to spy about Jesus' doing. But Jesus healed this paralytic man because of his faith and the faith of his friends. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, whatever elements we have because of our lifestyle, let us remember to have a change. Change is painful, but it is a, a way of healing so that we can be healed, not only of physical, but more importantly, the spiritual aspect to be healed, to be forgiven. So Jesus, when, when he was here on earth, he never stopped doing, teaching, performing miracles because he cares for men. He cares for people, especially those who have uh, physical ailments and he can perform miracles and healing. That's amazing, uh, the work of Jesus. We too can tell others about the good news of Jesus, that he can not only heal physical ailments, but he can forgive. That's the spiritual part of it, forgiven. And when we are forgiven, 
we can share that good news to others as well, that we have a God who cares, who loves, he can, who can forgive sin. Whatever of the past, when we come to the Lord, when a person surrenders his life unto the Lord, there is always that hope of forgiveness. Not only physical, but spiritual healing, and that is forgiveness. Today, we're going to pray for uh, everyone, especially we have a prayer request from Cagayan de Oro uh, by the name of uh, Gling, who has a, an ailment of uh, Nasaf. For, not for angel cancer we're going to pray for them and everyone who, who is willing to to, to 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 come to the Lord so that we can uh, bring our cares unto, unto Him let us now pray our gracious Lord Heavenly Father what a joy to be here to know that we have a God who perform miracles, a God who loves, a God who heals, not only physical ailments, but more importantly, the spiritual healing that is forgiveness. Thank you for the wonderful story of this paralytic man who had that great faith with his friends who carried him so that they can bring him to Jesus, who is our Savior. And that's the name Jesus, meaning Savior. Here on earth, we have a lot of problems. In this chaotic world, we have sufferings. People suffer oftentimes because of carelessness, because of lifestyle so help us that we will that that we may have that change to come to Jesus and not only physical healing but to be spiritually healed and that is to be forgiven because of our carelessness oftentimes I pray that you bless the leaders of your church the leaders in the home the leaders in the conferences and divisions and up to the general conference. We pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, especially in the, in the times of the 10 days of prayer. The general conference initiated this year, 2017, started January 11, and it will end on January 21. I pray to you, continue to pour out your blessing upon all your people, especially those who are suffering from physical ailments. Not only these brothers of ours or whoever it is, by the name of Wagling, I pray to you, lay your hands upon him because you are the great physician, the great healer, and you can perform miracles upon him to take away that cancer or that ailment according to your will. I pray that you bless family and every family that we represent wherever they may be. Thank you Lord so much that you have promised in Isaiah 65 24 and we claim that promise that even before they call you are already there ready to answer. Mark 11, 24 says, Whatsoever things we desire when we pray, believe, and we will have it. Thank you for those promises, and we claim them, that you would heal not only physical ailments, but also spiritual, and that is to be forgiven so that we can be reconciled with Jesus, our Savior. Help us to be faithful and preparing others to be faithful as well for Jesus' soon return. 
thank you, Lord, so much for hearing and granting our petitions because we ask, we believe, and we claim in Jesus' name. Amen. Another episode has passed again, but we hope that you were blessed by our programs today. Thank you for watching, everyone. We are looking forward to giving you the latest updates in our future videos. We speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. Because we love you so much, we are delighted to share with you the gospel of God in our lives as well. So don't forget to meet us next Sabbath here on Macau Adventist Today. Today.